Hi everyone, hopefully okay so today I'm going to do a Beachy Waves inspired hair tutorial for you. It's kind of inspired by like Eleanor Calder and other people like that. Um, I've been recently like, obviously you know that I use my heated rollers quite a lot, but I've been quite liking the whole beachy waves, like the kind of undone messy look, especially now that spring and summer's on the way, I think it's a really nice look. Um, for like holidays and stuff like that. So I thought that I would show you how to recreate it. So first of all, there's some weird noises coming from outside. I don't know what is going on. So if you hear something strange, then that is why. So I'm going to start off. Basically, um, this is like my hair naturally. It's been like a top knot, which is why it's so crazy. Um, I find that doing like curly hair tutorials, they work better on unwashed hair. I find that they just, the style lasts longer. So because of that, I'm going to be using the VO5 Plump It Up Back Home Spray. I'm just going to spray this in the roots. Now this is kind of like a dry shampoo kind of S product, but I find that it's not, it's like chalky and grey. Um, so what I do is I spray it and then I just massage it in. I'm just going to brush that through. Okay, so once that's all been brushed through, it's time to decide where my parting's going to be. So if I'm going to do this like on an Eleanor Calder inspired kind of look, um, she always has hers just to, like just off the side kind of in the middle. So I'm just going to really do it messily like with my fingers because I always think that quite a messy not perfect part in. I personally prefer that look rather than like a, a straight down the line one but it's obviously up to me. Now I'm going to be using um, like some tongs basically, I'll show you them in a minute but I'm just going to section off my hair because I find that because I've got quite a lot of hair it's better to do it bit by bit. Okay, so I've tied that up and now I'm just going to brush through it again using my tangle teeth of the um, I'm going to be using my Enrapture and this is the Totem Styler. Um, it's from the same company that do my heated rollers and I have to admit I don't really give this hair curler a lot of love because obviously my favourite are the rollers and I find them so easy and quick to do in the morning. But I took this on holiday with me last year because it was easier to pack than the rollers and I really liked using it and I liked the look that it gave my hair so I thought that I would include it in a video today. So um, I'm just going to heat it up because it doesn't take very long and basically you've got like these dials and they've got one, two and three on them and you can adjust them to what kind of curl you want. Now I quite like two, two, three which kind of gives you like a medium curl slash wave. I think like one is like wave, two is like medium and three is like tight curl. So that just kind of gives you the best of both worlds and obviously because my hair is quite long. Now there isn't really... Um, you know, like sometimes there's an indicator saying that it's heated up. There isn't one of those, which is kind of annoying. So you basically just have to gauge when it feels like it's warm enough. So it's kind of like a wand and tongs all in one. So you can either just wrap the hair around it like that, or you can use the tongy bit, which I tend to do because um, I can't be bothered like holding it in place. It's also got a little stand, which is really cool. So it means that like when you're waiting for it to heat, you can just put it on the stand or when it's when you finish using it, it's still hot because a lot of them they don't have it and you kind of struggle where to put it because obviously you don't want to cause like a fire hazard or burn ever, anything so this is really really handy so I'm just going to start with little sections like this and I just start at the bottom and then just wind my hair up and then I leave it for a few seconds don't want to end up like that girl on that video that was going around Facebook and YouTube And then just let go like that. So I tend to put different thickness um, of like hair strands. So some I'll do thicker than others and I think it just adds to that messy look because obviously then it's not perfect, it's not all perfect curls. And it looks quite thingy at the moment but I tend to let them drop a little bit before I hairspray them. So done um, and as you can see it took no time at all so I'm going to whiz through and do this side now. The 
temps with my hair done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a quick spritz with some hairspray just so they don't drop. So I'm just going to put that behind and then I'm going to get the front section out. So again that's the front section done and I'm just going to like separate the curls. Just kind of make them less tight like this. Now as you can see, because my hair's quite long, um, it means that like the top section's not really getting done, so it's more that the waves at the bottom. And then finally I'm gonna do this real front section. I'm just gonna do this away from my face and just give it a real slight wave because I don't want to be too curly around my face because I'll look a bit like you know those people that have like from the olden days that had like the wigs and the really curly bits around the faces. So I've done that, I just like bring all my hair forward and just kind of check it all. So there's a piece here which isn't very curled. So I just go back over any pieces that I might have missed or that have dropped already and I'll just give them a bit of a top up. Because when you've got long hair it can be quite hard to miss a piece here and there. So I'm just going to get um, my little GHD which is like a dressing brush, like back home brush. And I'm just going to like brush that out a little on Alex from I Covet These um, she did like a everyday kind of curl video and she like back combs up the curl and I thought that was a really good like tip to like add a bit of like messiness and also it makes sure her like curls last a bit longer rather than like brushing them out so I thought that was quite a cool little tip I'll link her channel down below if you've not um, already subscribed but I'm sure that most of you have this front section and just do a bit of back combing because it's a bit flat for the final look um, I'm just going to add some Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray now this is like basically like a salt spray and it kind of just gives you that really beachy look so I just spray this through my hair to just give it a real beachy natural look that's like part of the whole look that you want it to look quite undone you don't want to look like you've been sitting with a curling iron for ages you want to look like you basically just rolled out of bed looking like so we have it the finished everyday messy beachy waves look kind of inspired by Eleanor Calder she always has like amazing wavy hair um if you don't know who she is by the way I should probably should have explained at the beginning she is Louis Tomlinson from One Direction's girlfriend and I know that she's not a celebrity or anything like that, but I'm not going to lie, I've got a bit of a girl crush on her. She always wears the most amazing clothes, and um, whenever she puts a picture on Instagram, I'm like, oh, I want that. Um, she's got me covered in some dungarees at the moment. But um, yeah, so I kind of just thought I would, like, because I've been, like, proper fangirling over her on Tumblr, I thought I'd do a bit of an inspired hair tutorial, because she always has the most effortless, beachy, messy waves. And I thought this is quite a good look coming up for summer, because it's very... Um, it doesn't take too much time and it doesn't take too much effort. Which yes, I hope you're good. I hope you've all had a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.